Hey, Roxanne, when's the last time you got jabbed? Uh, with Botox? With, yeah. Um, I do it twice a year now. Twice a year? Yep. Well, I read something regarding Botox that Botox could actually ruin your hot relationship experience, according to a brand new science study. You, well, you know what I want to bring up? The other day, you said that Botox is making people less compassionate because you're not able to mirror people's expressions. Yeah, it's that people can't make uh, the faces to offer up expressions right. that if someone's overly Botoxed, you know, listen... Uh, there, there are some people on TV, there are some news anchors, there are some personalities on cable news, for instance, and you can tell there's so much Botox in their face that, uh, I'll give an example. I, I don't watch, but I flip by, like Laura Ingram on Fox News Channel at night, I think right. she's on like at 10 o'clock, yeah. and I, I flip through channels, I, I don't watch the nighttime, I don't watch any of the nighttime cable news stuff, I'm, so, I'm just not interested. But, it's in a bad mood. But I've, uh, say it again? It gets you in a yeah, bad well, mood. I'm, I'm just not interested. So I was flipping through the channels, and on several occasions, um, I'm like, what's going on with Laura Ingram? And she clearly has had so much surgery and Botox that the only thing that moves are her eyelids and her lips when she talks. Yeah. It's pretty the, impressive. The, yeah. The, the, her face is frozen, and it's like too much plastic surgery, too much Botox, because I'm telling you, the only thing that happens, her eyes blink and her lips will move slightly. Why wouldn't but, she get like Botox in her lips and like have like a kick ass ventriloquist act or something? <laughs> yeah. But oh, this is Laura hey, Ingram. You know, you can... That's a great idea. <laughs> but, Let, let's go to my puppet. What do you think? Oh, I think it's terrible. Oh, thank you very much. Just but, one more shot in her but, lip. Hey, the best ventriloquist listen, ever. You can get Botox you can sparingly. Get it anywhere. But let me finish. Let me finish. You can get Botox and it can, you know, take out some wrinkles, get rid of some laugh lines. Yeah. And Still, I think you can maintain uh, a good portion of your facial expressions unless you overdo it. So Botox can be beneficial. This is a whole other issue i got to discuss with Michelle. I, I don't have time today. i got to talk to Michelle about something else. But the reason why I'm bringing this up is there's new research that was just published in the journal Scientific Reports. And the research finds that Botox injections can ruin a relationship because of the fact that it makes it harder for the emotions to be recognized. So <laughs> this, like that? But th <laughs> yeah, I swear, I but, love it. <laughs> but this is an expansion, because we had previously talked about people yes. that got Botox, you can't read their faces, but now the new angle on this is how it affects your sexual relationship <laughs> with your, your loved one, your spouse, you know, your husband, wife, whatever. Is that your O-face, baby, or are you just surprised <laughs> from all your boat? Or are you just sitting there with no expression on your face? Oh, this, this is great. This is, <laughs> this is, this is this Yeah, is, there's no expression. It's Laura is, Ingram face. It's like, mm. oh, baby, oh, baby, this is great. Mm. Oh, baby. <laughs> you, you sure know how I like it. Mm. No, right but, there. So right there. But <laughs> they're saying the research says that this could be just bad for uh, couples in love, devoted couples, or even, uh, you know, singles or people that are just looking for some, you know, hot hookups. And th normally when we see expressions, we unconsciously mig uh, mimic them to help us recognize them, according to Dr. Fernando Mamalejo Ramos, the lead author of the study. <laughs> So you might not be able to experience someone else's emotions as intensely or vividly as you would like to. So if you're involved in the act and you're looking at their face and it's like a, a blank piece of canvas. I have an easy solution. That might uh, alter... <laughs> That might alter the experience. Oh, Rox, give us your oh, solution. Yeah. Oh, Roxanne, please. I'm I'm waiting on the edge of my seat yeah. over here. Switch angles so you don't have to see each other's faces. Oh. Is that how you do it, Doug? <laughs> no, I mean, I would want to switch really fast if I was with Doug. I mean, like, oh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. No, so, I'm not saying for myself. No, I'm no, saying yeah. like for the definitely you know, for you. Guess what? For the people who We've are interested. We've got bedroom insights of. No. No.
Doug. So you face the other way if you want you. you... All, All right. right, we don't need to put it any. You just did. Wait no, a minute. I'm now. talking Wait. about right, you're so talking Doug. about the people who have issues. I didn't. I never said I had an issue. Just because I get Botox a couple of times a year doesn't mean that I can't make an expression. In radio, we are so expressive that mine wears out pretty quickly. Should we call it rocks? When you get your injection, should we call it Bo Rocks for yeah. Roxanne, or should we call it Rocks Tox? How has like a Botox company not done TikTok's that endorsement rocks. yet? What yeah. Rocks Tox? Go, Bo go, Rocks. Go down to the Botox clinic and get their Bo Rocks special. Hi. I, uh, do me a favor. All right. So <laughs> yes, for, for, for Botox R Us, ladies and gentlemen, yes. all right, Roxanne Wilder, take one, uh, take one and boop. Uh, we're running a special right now. It's called Bo Rocks Tox, and your whole face <laughs> will be paralyzed. Uh, cut, 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 cut. Wait a minute, You have to introduce yourself, you, yourself uh, first. You always start uh, with, uh, hi, this is Roxanne yeah, from the YouTube Show. Yeah, please endorse it properly. <laughs> okay, come on, and, and, and read the script. Okay, Roxanne <laughs> Wilder, uh, Botox R Us, uh, take two. All right. Boop. Hi, this is Roxanne Wilder. Have you been doing it at home with your significant other, your spouse, and you really don't want them to know what you're thinking? I have a solution for you. You can go and get just a simple shot to your face, a, a little dose of some bow rocks, and you too will keep your husband guessing as to what you are feeling. Do you like that? Oh my God, that's <laughs> so yeah. That's There's going to be a line out wow. the door. Wow. <laughs> At Botox R Us. And you're so good at these endorsements, too. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the crazy part. All right, I got to get Michelle on. I got to get Michelle on the phone. Michelle was in an Uber. So, listen, the bottom line is on the Botox thing, caution. There's research that says if you get over Botox, and the expressions now can eat into the sexual experience. Okay, well, let's just put the sex aside. Yeah. I do think there's something to that where you can't be as compassionate because you're you're not making the normal faces that someone so would like if somebody they're... says, oh, Rox, my dog died. And you're like, I want to show you that I feel sad Aww. for you. I have empathy for you right yeah. now, but I can't move my face. I think there's something to that. 